Welcome everyone to the 2024 summer, the best summer you're ever going to have when it comes to sales and production with us at Vivint. I can feel it in my bones. You guys are gonna do awesome this year. I wanna start this podcast off with a little tip. As you go out every day, there's a barometer inside of us, a gauge that lets us know how we did at the end of the day. I want you to reflect on that at the end of every night. Go find a way, get a journal, get something to write down how you did at the end of every day. I want you to keep track of two things that you did well and one thing that you can improve on. And if you do that every single day throughout the summer and intentionally focus on the next day working on the one thing that you can improve on, you're gonna see massive growth from yourself and also in production. So I want you to just take that little tip, do that every single day for 108 days this summer and go make it happen and have the best summer you've ever had. So with this podcast, we're gonna go into the preseason production that we had as a senior region. It was incredible to watch the performances uh, that many of you had. And we're gonna go through some of those right now, but man, I just wanna tell you how thankful I am to work with you, all of you. I'm serious. I wouldn't be here without you, and I just wanna give everybody a huge thank you. Let's go through some of these preseason numbers, and you're gonna see the massive growth that we've had just in a matter of six to seven months in the off season. This year, you're gonna see little badges attached to some of the names as we go throughout recognition, you know, rookie, sophomore, and vet. And it's gonna help help me at least, and hopefully help everybody recognize, okay, when I see these names up here, it's cool, but which one of them are at the level that I'm at, and which one can, you know, where do I need to improve and surpass uh, someone else? So kind of watch for these little badges as, as we go through the recognition this year. The production that we're gonna recognize in the preseason is gonna be on the rep level, the management group level, and then also the summer office level. Let's get right into the rep level first. All right, we'll start it off. Top 10 reps in the preseason. Number 10, Paul Hicks with 33.2 EFP coming from Greensboro. Number nine, Trevian McClendon with 36.9 uh, EFP from Greensboro. Number eight, Eduardo Pena, 38.5 EFP, Greensboro again. Number seven, Kyle Ingram, 41.3 EFP, Colorado Springs. Number six, Collier Swearingen, 45.1 EFP in Jacksonville. Number five, Mihir Malasetti, 52.5 out in Shreveport. Number four, Isaac Shelley with 54.2 EFP out in Jacksonville. Number three, Caden Ingram, 54.7. Man, I was close, look at that, uh, in Colorado Springs. And number two, William Poles, 64.2 EFP. He's also in Greensboro. Absolutely incredible performances. That is, this is awesome to see. And our number one rep in the preseason, give it up for Idine Riafar out in Greensboro, 68.7 EFP with an average PRMR of $101.46. Idine, dude, great job, 68. That is incredible, nice work. Now I wanna go through the top 10 rookies of the preseason. When I first started out with this job, I didn't have any preseason, and it was a massive feat to actually go out and get five. And then when somebody went out and did 10, it was even it was even a bigger deal. And now we have obviously Ideen just hitting 68.7. So things, you guys obviously were getting better and better and better, but I wanna recognize the rookies. Um, that went out and absolutely dominated and got at least five um, in the top 10. So bringing in number 10, we've got Noah Ruiz with 5.4 at Greensboro. Number nine, Sanshit Singh with 5.5 out in Shreveport. Number eight, Craig Hunnell with six out in Greensboro. Number seven, Julian Howes with 6.2 out of Greensboro. Number six, Drew Guerra with 6.6 .6 out of Jacksonville. Number five, Miles Lewis with 6.7 out of Greensboro. Number four, Jack Chandler with 6.8 out of Greensboro. Number three, Carlos Vasquez with 9.9 .9 out of Greensboro. Number two, Samuel Rodriguez Martinez. I couldn't put you know the fit the whole last name on here. So Samuel, if you need me to uh, update that or if it's the wrong part of the last name, let me know. But dude, incredible work, Samuel. Incredible work. 20 EFP as a rookie from Greensboro. Dude, check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven 
out of nine reps so far are all from Greensboro. Absolutely incredible job, Greensboro, with uh, Trent leading from the helm out there. Great work. And our number one rep is Mr. Russ Young out in Colorado Springs, 21.6, barely etched out Samuel with 101 and one cent average PRMR. Look at that, dude, Russ. Nice freaking job, dude, and nice truck. I don't know if that's yours or not, but I would assume it's yours. Looking good, Russ, and uh, it's even gonna look better when you maintain that spot, dude. So great job being the number one rookie in the preseason, Mr. Russ Young. Good job. And now for our top 10 management groups. All right, coming in number 10, we've got Ben Sokinsanj, 49.2 EFP. Number nine, Nick Turner, 88.9 EFP with 52% growth. Great job, Nick. Number eight, Brett Barber, 98.7. And number seven, Kyle Ingram with 103.9. Number six, Alex Saifedinov with 112.5. Look at that, 56% growth, good work. And we got Lucas Duquette coming in number five, 114.5 with 160% growth. Lucas, dude, nice work with your management group, that's awesome. Number four, Trent Wood, 155.4 with 46% growth. And we've got number three is Caden Ingram, 164.4. And number two, Russ Smoot, 303.2. Wow, broke the 300 mark in the preseason, great work. And our number one management group, this is absolutely incredible as well. So proud of you, Mr. Will Poles out in Greensboro. He took his management group to 328.3 EFP. The average PRMR was 101.01. That is insane. And then you have 403% growth. Are you kidding me? 403% growth. Dude, Will, holy crap. You guys are hustling. Your management group is dominating. Now let's see if you can roll all of that into the summer and maintain that and keep keep killing it, dude. That is so, so dang good. And I know there's a lot of reps that need that recognition. So if you're in Will Pohl's management group, shout out to every single one of you for making it happen. That was That is awesome performance this year. Now I wanna kind of lump in all the management groups together that are going out into the particular office. And I wanna, wanted to see how well each office kind of is stacking for the, for the summer. So here we go, we got Jackson at 50.5 EFP, Lafayette 146.5 EFP, Shreveport 229.1 EFP, Colorado Springs 269.4 EFP, Jacksonville 304.3 EFP, and check this out, Greensboro, an astounding 577.3 EFP. That is, ins that is insane. Great work to you three management groups who are combining out there to make it happen. Great, great job. Now I wanna kind of give a lay of the land with where everyone is at and who the area directors are for each team. So we're gonna go into the location and then who the area director is for, for that summer office. We're gonna start off, we got Jackson out in Mississippi is Ben Sokinsanj. Ben's been managing for a few years and he's uh, hitting this new market. It's gonna be awesome. I know licensing has been a beast for him along with housing, um, but I guess we all have our, our struggles in the preseason. But dude, Ben, I'm excited for you to go out and dominate this market and see what you guys can go do in Jacksonville. Your, your personal numbers, you've been a management group leader who's done over 200 EFP, and we're excited to see you go lead from the front. Then we, then we have Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs area director is Caden Ingram. There is, there, there, I could not give a, uh, an introduction that is gonna be worthy of the, pr the production that Caden has actually um, hit over the past few years with us. But going out and doing over 500 EFP in a summer personally is, is off the charts. I know he's looking really hard to go push over 2,000 accounts this year with the, with his group out in Colorado Springs. You have every reason and right to go do it. You have the top uh, rookie in the, in the preseason. And so we're gonna see what you guys can go accomplish in Colorado Springs. Looking forward to you guys going out and making it happen. Let's go get it done. Then we have Jacksonville out in Florida. Russ Smoot is the area director out there. Russ has done a phenomenal job training his rookies and getting them out on the doors. I know his schedule has been absolutely crazy, um, having wife and kids and, and still running, running a solid team and maintaining a schedule that, he, that most people, it's really hard to do. But he's done a great job. He, uh, I know he's pushing 
really hard to go hit over 200 plus accounts again this year have an office that goes over to or hits over 2000 they are in the runnings for among the top office as well it's going to be so fun to watch you guys go compete but russ um i know you got a lot of work cut out for you i'm proud of what you've accomplished so far in the preseason go make it happen and push push this summer then we've got out in Greensboro, we've got Trent Wood. Trent is the area director. He is a very seasoned area director. He's done a phenomenal job out recruiting, uh, making sure that the right people are joining his team. He has pretty strict requirements and he uh, he's done a great job getting his rookies with sales. As you've seen, his reps uh, have dominated the leaderboard in the preseason. Now the real question is, uh, Trent, you gonna, are you gonna able to maintain that domination with you and all of your reps this summer? Um, I'm proud of you for what you've done on a personal level as well, Trent. You've really stepped it up in the preseason. Uh, looking forward to those numbers continuing to grow on a personal level throughout the summer and then watching your guys' office just go dominate. I know there's a little bit of buzz out there who's gonna be the number one office, and I think there, uh, there's gonna be some, some heated conversations when it really gets close and you guys are in the running, so go make it happen, Trent. Next, we've got the Shreveport area director, which is Lucas Dukek. Lucas is also, also a very seasoned veteran manager. Um, last year, he had a massive um, hindrance with his back. It really put him out. Actually, I think over half of the summer last year, he was bedridden. Um, he, he, anyways, he had a really, really hard year last year physically. Uh, he's been going. He, he's been pushing this preseason, as you can see, going and hitting the numbers he's he's hit. But to really bounce back and have an awesome year, Lucas. Again, you are a seasoned vet, 200 plus accounts over year after year. I'm excited to see you go do that again and show these boys. Uh, what can happen out in Shreveport, Louisiana. Proud of you, Lucas, go make it happen. And last but not least, we've got Lafayette, Louisiana. The area director out there is Mr. Brett Barber. Brett, you are also a seasoned veteran. Uh, you have accomplished amazing things in your career. This year is the year for you to go out and dominate personally and show these boys what can actually happen when Brett Barber puts his head down and goes to work. The teams that you have ran, Brett, have been some of the best cultured teams. So I know your boys are gonna be excited to see what happens this year and the fun that you're gonna have. You guys are gonna go dominate. You have amazing leadership, all of you to look up to, and we're excited for what this summer is gonna hold. Thank you all very much for watching the podcast this week. Next week, we're gonna go and see how week one turned out with everybody, so stay tuned. Peace out, ladies.